Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are making this bauble right here. These are actually two different designs on the bauble itself. The first bit is the same. The top bits are two different designs. One, actually both of them will be on my website as paid patterns. So if you're interested in this one here, they are going up in a couple of days time. So get excited for those. But for today, we are making this one right here. All right. So it's perfectly fit. Um, it's even a tiny little bit loose so if you crochet fairly tightly that will fit the only awkward thing we had is trying to keep the bauble on and crocheting up the top at the same time but you know that's okay that's it's a part of it all isn't it all right so what can I say about it I used I used uh, a four ply cotton which is a number two or a lightweight overseas okay this is bendigo cotton uh, it is peppermint <laughs> this one here is their red cotton as well in four ply okay and the hook it calls for is a three millimeter hook now I used a 2.5 you probably could have gotten away with using a two if you use a two that will be really tight okay so just heads up there I used about seven grams between five and seven grams not even i think it was about five grams or something very very minimal you don't need a lot um like this one here i took out eight grams and there's so much left so i really i would say only five grams but give or take you know one or two grams for you know different crocheters uh you will need your scissors there's your hook your scissors your stitch marker definitely need that one in this because the yarn is quite thin you will need a sewing needle and you will need your patience when you get to around here because you have to crochet all of this part here upwards with the bauble in it <laughs> but for the rest of it it's relatively easy you've got chains single crochets half doubles and trebles I'm sorry let's try it again chains single crochet half doubles doubles and trebles so you've got five stitches they all look simply divine very basic stitches if you already know crochet if you are new to crochet you can do this but just take your time I think the only problems you're going to have is when you get up to here and we kind of have to we all have that problem where we have to crochet around the bauble up the top but otherwise there you go thank you so much for watching guys and all I want to say is good luck making your Christmas bauble alrighty guys we're going to start off by forming a magic ring or a magic circle or a magic loop whatever you want to call it and you're grabbing your tail end and you're popping it in front of three fingers like that. Then grabbing your working end, wrap it around your fingers and make like a little X there. All right. Now grabbing your hook, popping it under your first loop and then pulling that back loop under and through. And what you have is that, that and that there, right? Pop your fingers between those two there and hold it like that all right you might need to change your hand again in a minute which is there so that you can work with your hook chain one and you need to do a single crochet in that center don't let go like I just did okay you need to do a single crochet in that center and a single crochet is hook in the center pull a loop through two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two Hold it there, just grab your stitch marker and pop it in the top two loops of that stitch. All right, if you can. <laughs> it's a bit awkward with this particular join. Just a gentle tug, you don't need to. I'm just doing it to help me out. All right, now you're doing another single crochet in that space. So in you go with the hook, pull a loop through, two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now you've done two single crochets. You need to have 12 all together. So we need to do another 10. But before we do, just grab this loop and give it a gentle tug and make your center just that tiny little bit smaller so it's easier to work in. All right, and now you're doing your 10 single crochets. So we've got two. This is your third one. Three. Four. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, before you do anything, recount your stitches because you may have accidentally done more. Okay, and count is important in the next round. So one, two, three. No, sorry, this is what you're counting, guys. These little loops you see right here, little V's that you see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. So we have twelve single crochets all across. The twelfth one is your the one that your stitch marker is in. Now, before we go on. What I want you to do is to, actually you can take the loop out to do this if you like, grab your tail end and give it a tug and it closes up. Now it may not close up properly, we'll, we'll tighten it again um, in the third round or second or third round and we'll weave it in in that round too and I'll explain that to you later why. Alright, so now what you're going to do is slip stitch, pop your tail end at the back, make sure it's way at the back there. Slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker in. And of course, I've done my stitch extremely tight. Don't do it. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. Uh, but you keep going, guys. <laughs> a slip stitch into that stitch. And a slip stitch is popping your hook <laughs> in the stitch. Pull a loop through like that. All right, so what you've got there is your two loops. Just pop that same loop through the loop on your hook. That's a slip stitch. All right. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. No, let's try that third one again. That didn't come out. Three. <laughs> Popping a stitch marker in. I'm trying to keep the stitches loose um, and that didn't work. It ended up slipping out. You might need smaller stitch markers for this one. I've left the big ones out and put the small ones away and that'll teach me. Use your small ones, guys, for smaller pieces, yeah? If I get real frustrated during the tutorial, I'll change. <laughs> All right, so you've chained three, right? Now you need to chain one more. That will act as a double crochet and a chain one in this round. So yarn over your hook and right into that very first stitch you see there, Pull a loop through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two, chain one. That's your stitch in this round. It's super easy. Yarn over your hook in the very next stitch, your very, very next stitch. Pull a loop through, three loops, yarn over, two, yarn over, two, chain one. And into your next stitch. How super easy is this? Chain one. Don't forget your chain ones. I'm going to bring this out a little bit because you know what you're doing now. Next stitch. One. Next stitch. One. Next stitch. One. Next. One. Next. One, next, one, whoa, next, that's our second last stitch, so I'll show you a close up in a minute, chain one, don't forget that chain one, and you can see the last stitch, you can actually see the gap right there, and you can see how tight that stitch there is, that's your slip stitch, all right, so yarn over your hook and do your last double crochet, and chain one before you join count your posts that's these stems you see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and your stitches here like i said earlier will count as a double crochet 12 making sure you've got a chain one in between each stitch is that a chain yes see i had to check all right, making sure you have that. And here's where you can slip stitch on the top of that third chain there. All right, so let's slip stitch. Pop your hook 
end the stitch with your stitch marker in, pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook. That was so much easier this time. <laughs> I did the stitch loose enough. All right, take out your stitch marker. Now, in this very same stitch, you're going to chain your three. One, two, and three. Oops, don't lose your stitch. Okay, and you're going to pop uh, your stitch marker again in your third. Like so. It's doing my head in this stitch marker. <laughs> <laughs> chain one and we're going to pop a double crochet in the same stitch all right like so and then we're going to do that in every stitch but before we do we're going to chain one and that's called a v stitch by the way so we're going to pop a v stitch on top of that double crochet so you're skipping you're skipping the space and you're popping your v stitch on the double crochet one chain one and another double crochet that's your v-stitch and then chain one all right again you're going to skip your space jump into your very next double crochet there doing a double crochet chain a one and double crochet and finish it off with a double a chain one sorry now you're jumping you're missing your space jumping into your stitch again v stitch chain one miss the space v stitch chain one in that v stitch and then chain one and then that's it that is your pattern all the way across. V stitch, chain one, V stitch, chain one. So let's V stitch. Let's try that again. <laughs> Don't lose your stitches, guys. Here's my V stitch, chain one, and V stitch, chain one. V stitch, chain one, V stitch, chain one, V stitch, chain one, V stitch. Chain one, getting close there. Oh, couldn't get that stitch in, the hook in then. Okay, we're almost there. Chain one, we're at our last double crochet. You're going to pop your V stitch in there, like so. Oh. Here we go. And then you're chaining one, hold it there for a minute. Because what I want you to do is count your V stitch, V stitches across. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Check your spaces that have got chain ones in them. You should start to have a little bit of a curl, a gentle curl. That is normal. Okay. So it's going to get a little bit curly before it gets nice and straightened up all right and i've literally popped <laughs> i've lost my stitch hello you had one job chain one okay now what we're going to do is slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker in pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop you are in taking out your stitch marker all right now a bit of a change of pattern chain one in the same stitch, you are popping a single crochet, like so. And again, you're popping your stitch marker in that stitch right there. All right. Oops. Try that. Okay. Now, single crochet in the space. Okay. So you single crochet in the space, like so. 
single crochet in the stitch. All right, so you've done that V-stitch area, single crochet in the space that you come to, single in your stitch, single in your V-stitch space, that's over the whole work like that, single in the stitch. Now don't forget that stitch, move it over and don't forget that stitch there. All right, single in your space, Single in the first double crochet of your V-stitch section. Single in your chain space. Single in your double crochet. Single in the other space. So it's, it's literally a single all the way around. So single one, two, three, single four. Single one, two, three, single four. Single one, two, three three and single four. You're doing that all the way across and for this one here I'm just going to pop this on fast for you all right uh, it's in the first stitch and off we go. and your space and your stitch okay let me get a close-up for you I just completed the last V stitch but there is a space before we slip stitch so you need to pop a single crochet in that space right there all right and then you slip stitch in the top of that stitch and pull a loop through it's still a bit curvy that's okay okay Take out your stitch marker and this row, a very, very simple, simple row. Chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. Pop your stitch marker in there. Okay. And now, right next to it, there, you'll put a single crochet. And next to that, you do a single crochet and of course next to that one we're going to do the same if i can do it right <laughs> single crochet that's it this is your round for this one guys i want you to head off on your own and do that one all you need to do is single crochet all the way across get to your last couple of stitches and i'll meet you there in a moment Alrighty, guys here i am at the end of the row and i have one last single crochet to go i'm going to pop my single crochet in there now just being careful because this thing here is a slip stitch don't do another single crochet in it okay well you'll be one extra so slip stitch across into that stitch marker as we've been doing all along no difference there take that stitch marker out we're going to have a pattern change all right and here what we're doing is chaining one and on the second one you are popping your stitch marker in there like so. All right, chain one. And you're going to do a half double crochet, but not in the same stitch and not in the next stitch, but the very next stitch. All right, so yarn over your hook. You're skipping that first stitch. You're jumping into your next one. Like so. Three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook chain one and we're going to do it again skip one jump into your second half double crochet three loops yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook chain one and that's the pattern skip half double chain one skip half double chain one super duper easy all right so we're gonna 
actually what I'll get you to do, I'll get you to continue that. Skip, half double, chain one. Skip, half double, chain one. Continue, get to the very last stitch marker there, or the last two stitches actually, and I'll meet you there in a moment. Alrighty guys, where I am is right at the end of the row. I did have two left. I popped a half double in my second last stitch, chain one, and there's actually a single crochet there. We're going to skip over that single crochet and uh, so loop stitch right into that stitch there. Pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop. You are in chain one. Oops, take out that stitch marker. two, three, and four. Place your stitch marker in there just for the moment, or well, actually for the rest of the row, but for a moment, just lift up your thread. Now, yours truly, you can see it now starting to tug. Yours truly, when I made the red one, I popped it on, I did the next three or four rows, popped it on and worked around it that way, and then stitched it in and forgot to stitch in that middle one right there so we're going to do that right now don't let anyone tell you that this will not come undone okay i keep telling people guys your magic rings are not secure or your magic loops they're not secure all right pop your thread in and it gives you an opportunity to actually close it up a little bit more so give it a bit of a tug and then your hole is just gone completely grabbing your sewing darning needle and we are on the inside of our bauble and just weave it in a couple of stitches that way oh really really tight and of course this is the wrong needle guys get the right sewing needles oh look at that needle it's such a wrong needle it's not the yarn it's not because it's cotton it's just i need to use a thinner needle all right so weave that in that way Weave it in another few stitches, making sure you can't see your needle from the front, yeah? Weave it in, and then going back the other direction that you were coming from. Making sure you're not going through the same stitches, or you will unravel what you just um, put through. So there we go. One more, and what this does, it reinforces it. It's not going to come undone anyway, but it reinforces it, all right? So there you go. Give it a cut, like so. And we're done. Okay. So now you can actually keep working, securing the knowledge that that's not going to come undone. Yeah. All right. So find your little loop again. Yes. And this is an interesting row because we are doing trebles. Okay. Now a treble is taller than your double crochet. And you have to wrap the yarn around your hook twice. So once and twice. Holding it there. Just finding your very next half double. Not your chain, but your half double, which is right there. Pop your hook in. Pull a loop. No, that didn't even go in. Let's try it again. <laughs> Pop your hook in. Pull a loop through. One, two, three, four loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through your next two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Yarn over your hook twice, skipping your chains, finding the next half double and doing the stitch. Pull a loop through, one, two, three, four, yarn over once, yarn over twice, yarn over three times. And straight into your next half double which didn't work let's try it again once twice three times and we're going to do it all the way across our row all right so super easy but you know it's a, a longer stitch all right so continue doing your trebles all the way across the row and I shall meet you back here in a moment Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the row. I have one half double here left. So I'm going to do my last treble on top of that half double, like so. What you actually should have is 24 trebles in the round. Don't stress if it's one treble short 
or one extra and I'll tell you why in a minute let's just slip stitch Ooh, if we can right into there pull the loop through and pull it through to the loop you are in just um, take that stitch marker out for now chain three one two and three pop your stitch marker in your third chain all right but what I want you to do is just pop up that loop for a minute grab your bauble and check it out what you should have is a kind of um, loose and then a tugging around your bauble now it should start to tug if you can't get your um, piece over the bauble then you've done it far too tight and you've lost too many stitches but look at how much space it has so if you've left one stitch short or something it's not really going to make too much of a difference all right but trying to keep up with the the right amount of stitches would be the way to go all right so take that out and now for this row oh, oh what have i done here hello you had one job all right uh for this row right here oh, come on here we go <laughs> i'm sorry all right so you've done your three there now all we're doing is putting a double crochet in each treble so yarn over your hook very simple you're in here already we're going to jump straight into our treble with a double crochet like so and you know how to do that pull through two and pull through two right into the very next treble with a double okay super easy row this one and in fact what I'm going to do is pop this on fast for you and I will meet you at the end of the row and off we go There's the second last one right here. All right, and how you can tell where we are right now, guys, is there you're in this one, going straight into your next one with your double crochet. And what you have now is that, all right? You are going to slip stitch again, as usual, in the top of that stitch marker stitch right there. Take out your stitch marker chain two one and two pull up your loop pop your stitch marker there all right what we have in this round it's a little tricky the actual stitch itself is not tricky you've done it before all right what is tricky is it's not going to fit around the bauble anymore all right so you actually have to add your bauble so pop your bauble in your piece like so and the trickiest part is working around the actual bauble it's a little awkward i'm sorry but trust me it is it really is nice <laughs> at the end it does look pretty all right this would look so much better if i had done this in the white but then again never mind so what you're going to do here again very tricky this part just chaining one and you're going to pop a half double crochet you're going to skip your first double crochet sorry <laughs> skip your first double crochet and pop a half double in that stitch very very awkward but try it okay half double through those loops chain one yes skip your first one go into your next one i find it easier to maneuver it at the back that helps pull a loop through through three loops chain one skip one and so on all the way across now it's going to be extremely awkward okay chain one skip all the way across okay i'm not gonna let you sit here and watch me <laughs> struggle we're both struggling we're all struggling i should say so head off on your own do your half doubles chain ones get to your 
second last or your third last stitch and I'll meet you there in a moment. Here we are at the end of the row guys. I have one double crochet left. I've still got my half double there. Chain one and all I need to do is slip stitch into that first, or I should say top stitch there. Oh, really awkward and really tight. Hopefully yours is not as tight. Um, there's always one stitch that I fight with. Um, it looks like this one here and I were not friends. <laughs> I'm going to take this stitch marker out. So slip stitch in the top of your uh, stitch there. <laughs> oh. All right. Right there. Oh, that's better. That worked really well. <laughs> All right. So slip stitch in. Pull the loop through and pull it through to the loop. You are in tightening everything up. And what you have now is that look. All right. This is where we need to start closing up shop. But in the meantime, we're going to chain one. Single in that same stitch that we are in. I'm not even in frame, sorry. Single in the same stitch you are in. Pop your stitch marker. If you are an avid crocheter, you may not need your stitch marker. This is just to help the newbies out. And I found working on the bauble, it pays to just kind of tip that back. <laughs> it's a lot easier and all you're doing with this one is single crocheting all the way across single in your space that you are there single in that space like that single in the half double single in the space all right single in your half double and you know what you're doing here because oh, it's just a little tricky yeah single in your space and so on so single in the half double and single in your space all the way across get to the stitch right here or the stitch before and i shall meet you there in a moment Alrighty, guys here i am at the end of the row i've got one more stitch left and one more space left so trying to get let's get a close up for you all trying to get in that stitch is yeah well that's not too bad here we go made myself look like a liar there <laughs> all right and one more space before that stitch mark we've got one more space so pop your hook in with your single crochet without losing the stitch i don't want to do it again <laughs> all right and then what you're doing is slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker pull that loop through take out that stitch marker chain one single in the same stitch Pop your stitch marker in, like so. And you are doing a single crochet in every stitch in the round. And off we go. In fact, the first one, let me show you the first one. We are in that one there. You want to jump straight into that very next stitch there. And there. And so on all the way across all right I'm not going to sit here and let you watch me do this do your single crochets all the way across get to the second last stitch here and I'll meet you there in a moment while I fix up my little split yarn there okay I'll meet you there in a moment all righty guys here we are at the end of the row guess what we've got one more row to do and we're done seriously that's our last stitch right there we're going to slip stitch into the stitch with a stitch marker, pull that loop through, take out your stitch marker for a moment, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. Pop your stitch marker in there like so. Whoops, there you go. Now, you are in this row just skipping one, single crocheting in your next one skip one Let's see if I can get in here and close nice and close and show you skip single in your next skip single skip single skip single 
I'm not going to pop this on fast because we're nearly done. Single. Maybe I should have with all the splitting I'm doing here. Dear me. Single. Skip. Single. Just going to move that bauble over a bit. That's it. Skip. Single. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Skip. Single. Skip. Single. Oh, really fiddly. Skip and single. Yep. And now you've got one there. We're going to skip it and slip stitch right into the stitch with the stitch marker in. Take out your stitch marker. Chain one. Pull up a loop. Give yourself uh, kind of a long enough tail. Not too much, I reckon. Let me have a look. I reckon just pop your hand through it like that and give it a cut. All right, just tug it a little bit. Grab your sewing and darning needle. Get too excited, guys, because this is it. Thread it. All right, now what you're going to do here is, let me get a close up for you. Remember your skips. All you're doing is going back into the stitch that you are in and just weaving through. Like that. You don't need to pull it yet. Just weave it through. Skip over that. Jump into there like so. Weaving it through. Skip over that. Jump into your next section like so. I'm going to turn your bobble over that way. Little top part over. Skip over that into your next. This is the, this is the best part, guys, because it's finishing. Skip over that into your next. Move your bauble over a little bit. We forgot to put a stitch marker in, but it doesn't matter. You can actually see the knot right there. Okay, so you are jumping over that and going straight into the next section where that knot is. And all you're doing is giving it a tug. And what you're going to do with this thread is you're going to start just weaving it in. But before you do, just go back into that stitch or somewhere near it, yeah? And only pull it halfway through, not all the way. See that little loop you've got there? Pop your hook, let's try needle Mary, in that loop. And all that's doing is giving you a knot. But before you do, tighten up your work here and then give yourself a knot. Now, you're just weaving in anywhere you want to. Anywhere you feel comfortable. Less stitches, more stitches. It doesn't matter. Weave in like that. That's all you're doing, going through. Underneath even. You don't have to worry about it. It's right up the top. And it's not going to be noticed because it looks like the stitching across. Okay, and it's underneath too. All right, one more. And you know, just for good measure, I'm going to go back the other way. All right, just for good measure, just one or two. Oh, I don't think we need to go through anymore. <laughs> one will be fine. <laughs> it's really tightened up. Do that. Just give it a tug and it all falls into place. And my dears, your bauble is done. Too gorgeous. I still think, this one here is a little different, um, but I still think um, it would have looked better if we did it in white. You would have been able to see the bauble a little better. Um, but this one here, the pattern, the design itself is a little bit different. It's a tiny little bit different, not much. They're the same size. They just look a little different because the stitching is done differently here. All right. Now, that's it for your bauble, guys. Don't forget, we have our Christmas present um, ornament, which is right there. <laughs> How cute is that? And we also had the Christmas bell ornament. I mean, look at that gorgeous bell. And now you have your little bauble. Too exciting, guys. 
And you, you've done with weaving in. You've done with everything. Hey, how about that? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all the wonderful things that you guys always do for me. And in a few days' time, keep an eye out on the website. Both of them will be uh, paid patterns on the website. But there you go. You have this one right here, right now. Yay, yay. Thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to join us on our lives at 4 p.m wednesday afternoon and 10 a.m saturday mornings melbourne australia time that is and we have these lives they're a lot of fun uh, sometimes we you know we're a bit cheeky but you know what there's the wow wheel which means winning prizes guys you've got to be in it to win so join us on our lives and also don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all the wonderful things that you guys well pretty much already do for me and all i want to say right now is merry christmas yay <laughs> ciao for now